Have you ever checked in? Have you ever wire tripped? This is not like TV only metaphor. This is life. Welcome back to Sneak Door TV's coverage of Melbourne Regionals 2017. Very exciting. We have the last game in the Swiss. What do you think, Miles? I think it's Luke versus Asher. <laughs> yes, one it is. One of them playing Wizard, one of them playing HB ETF. Okay, we've seen this quite a few times already yeah. today. But this is going to be different. <laughs> I know this because I've seen Luke play a lot of Netrunner. I played a lot of Netrunner with Luke. He does play a lot of Netrunner. That dude plays HBFA. <laughs> he does play HBFA. He doesn't play Moons. Oh, that is good. He plays HBFA. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to see. He just plays HBAF. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. HBF AAF. Um, All right. Luke loves his HB Pass Advance, and it's why not? It's a good deck, always has been. It's always, always solid. All right, so that is, I'm not sure if we clarified, but that's Luke on the right and Asher on the left playing Wizard. Um, yeah, Asher injects into a bunch of stuff. We see the same old thing. Yeah. Amp Strike Retrieval Run. Yeah, it could be, could be a bunch of stuff. And I know this isn't the standard Wizard deck. I know Asher was very proud of like his own bringing his own creation to. Okay. So this shouldn't isn't just the standard like, trash everything was. So we see same old thing, Hacktivist meeting come down, so he's preemptive against what you would assume to be moons probably. Yeah, that's fair. Yep. The only reason I assume it's HP fast events is because Luke and I know Luke. <laughs> you know what times. Luke does. I know what Luke likes. Um, <laughs> but I could be wrong. Discards Eda, Spoonie, and oh, Employee Eda. Strike. We have of course seen the retrieval run. Alright. So I think end. Eda Gives away what this deck is going to do. Yes. <laughs> Eater is highly oh, suggested. Biotic Acronos Project. Biotic's a Kronos project. That's not bad. Just getting rid of the Eater? Yeah, I squad an agenda. That's interesting. Yeah. That is a bold play. <laughs> Puts him down to one credit, which I'm not. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I guess they're trying to work out if the hacktivist gets it does. removed yeah. from game. It, gets it does. Removed from game. It's like, if you score the agenda, then the agenda really results. Yeah, cool. No, that's fair. Yeah. It's just one of those weird little time structure things. I believe that's how it works. Okay, yeah. it looks like they've ruled it doesn't. Yeah. But that's a... Oh my <laughs> god, he's double vanilla. He planned that out so well. Oh, he, did. he knew what was going on. <laughs> that run a genius! Thanks, Eric. Eric, <laughs> 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 the sidelines there. Wow, strikes and hacktivist. That is bola. Oh, we already seen one strike in the bin. I know. It's now out of the game. Yeah, it's now out of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Just clicking up the credits. It's like day a job. day job. And Man, these players are playing fast and furious. They are. I like it. Barely even waiting for a turn. This is going to be like run havoc on the uh, editing. Beautiful. That looks like a Prism <laughs> grid going on HQ. Yeah. I think uh, Luke's getting an idea of what Ash is going for as well. I think if you see an eater in a day job, you have a pretty good idea of what's going on. <laughs> I think you're right. Draw, draw. Yep, just drawing just up. Just drawing like a man, man. Yeah. Want to see that account siphon? You are pretty sad if you don't see an account siphon with this. Uh, Luke's still long cradle, so you're not too worried. He's got no remote threat either. Oh, yeah, totally. But I mean, just in general. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, so Ida is live, that means siphon is live. What, what? Oh, yeah, same old for, thing. Although Chrysium Grid's there. How's got, he a, get a got, a, got a knife either HQ. Yeah, you got didn't a knife know that right now. Did you see the version of this deck that came up just before uh, MWL2? No. If ben Nee was playing and it had like Sifa and three oh, parasites. <laughs> as well as like Siphon. Yeah. Oh man, that would have been brutal. I'm so glad Sifa's on the most one of the list. Yeah, it's just <laughs> dropped off. It's kind of dropped off the face of the earth now. Ah uh, yeah, it's still a good card, but I'm so glad it's just like so much rarer. Yeah, it's good to see. Oof. Oh, nice, we see the paper come yeah. out. So yeah, Ash has got a... Ash has understands that that's also um, Christian Driven HQ. Yeah. yeah. Totally, so he whizboxes that. Oh, you and hits the access. Probably just go for a siphon if he has it. Accessing yeah, a Jackson. Jackson. Oh, doesn't have whizbox anymore. No, he doesn't. Yeah, so he doesn't want to trash that one. But if you have a siphon in hand, you probably jam Oh, that was his last click, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I think uh, Luke wants to... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Another Chrysium, <laughs> quite possibly. I hope so. 
Double crossing him in HP though, that's uh... So Asher just took credits for running HP. I think that's the play. Yeah. Second, Second Chrisium Brew. Two Chrisiums in HP. Unbelievable. He's very, very bad with them. See that Jackson Jackson's again. another Jackson. <laughs> so that suggests food coats here or something, right? Oh, there's the siphon. Yeah. One last call. I should plan that out first, but had exactly enough credits for yeah, he did exactly. To. Yeah, yeah, he knew what he wanted. <laughs> he did the right play for sure there. Mm -hmm. Very good play. <clears throat> um, so what I did do here is um, take two trash, take two trash the same old thing. That's what? fair, that's just another siphon gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're on one credit, you kind of like. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to take three and just get siphon, that sucks. <laughs> Because that's exactly what would happen. Yeah, that is what would happen realistically. I think you go to Ice Up HQ again, get something else on there. I think I saw a Turing in hand, which could be good. Oh, Turing's pretty good on HQ right now, I think. But that could also be good on R&D, because if he's playing Siphon, he's playing... Um, Dangerous for Siphon. If he's playing Siphon, he's also playing uh, Keyhole. Uh, yes, so, good point. Uh, there's a lot of good places for that Turing. <laughs> Are people sort of playing Turing now, do you reckon, in general? Uh, a lot less. I haven't seen it for a long time. No. It was good, really big when Faust was huge. Yeah, sure. And now that Faust is on the most wanted list with everything else that was in Dumble 4. Yep. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Do you think Faust belongs on Tier 3, or like maybe it could be Tier 2? I think Tier 2 is fine, yep. but I don't know if they're going to bring up a Tier 2. Yeah, that's fair. I think at the moment, keeping it as like two distinct tiers is fine. Yep. If they were going to go higher, I'd rather see cards like Sippy sip up higher. <laughs> Just like tier 5. Yeah, tier 5. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I currently have a low stack running Sipper. Okay. And I'm, I was looking at this, I'm like, if they put Sipper up to tier 5, I'd still be running it in low stack. Because it's so ridiculously <laughs> it is good, right? It's so ridiculously good. Yeah, it's very, very powerful. <laughs> Paying six influence for that card is still worth it. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, it's one influence. Oh, yeah. Unreal. Yeah, it's huge that card. Yeah, very, very strong card. Alright, so Asha did see the, um, an agenda while we were we did. We saw yabbering on. Project Vretuvius. I've seen oh, Ash. Oh, kills an Ash. Um, I've told Asha this before, but like Asha's avatar on Slack is Ash, so I always assumed Asha looked like Ash until <laughs> I met him. Which I realise is largely meaningless. But like... <laughs> <laughs> I really strongly thought that. <laughs> like subconsciously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ash doesn't look like Ash. No. He's not even a little bit green. <laughs> not even a little bit. Um, anyway, what do you do if you look here? Oh, be sad. Yeah, that's fair. You're in a sad spot here. This is what Siphon Wiz wants. Yeah, exactly. Early game, and you just keep punching them with Siphon over and over and over again. I don't know about that uh, Adonis Rose. I think the Adonis is entirely to try and stop a Siphon. I would have just kept him in hand though, because he's got the Turing to uh, stop Siphon. Uh, yeah. He goes on 4 credits, he goes down to 0 to raise it anyway. You are correct. It's interesting that he raised, he must have something in hand. Yeah, if he's just going for Turing. He must access, do, right? Maybe he's the Jackson just wants to keep it. Yeah, it could do. I mean, it's not a good spot to be in, picking for 3 right now. I think he only raised the Turing when he goes for the Siphon. Yeah, I, I think, think you're raising right. it earlier. Is kind of bad. I think that's yeah, exactly. That's kind of maybe he's a bit too freaked out. I can't see his hand, but maybe he's going to generate. He's just really yeah, worried about it. But he also just leaves R and D open if he goes down. Yeah, he's getting R and D sort of like soft lock. Like it's not a ton of cards, but it's sort of enough cards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And also like I don't know. It's not the like medium R and D, like the, the <laughs> classic, the, you know, the classic R D I. I think so, uh, Asha has a key on here, so oh, does that could come in? I that... think I've seen Apocalypse as well. Oh, awesome. nice, <laughs> man! That'd be great, actually. <laughs> you need to try and man. The, the real cool plays are when you try and hit like a Fairchild three or something, and you dump <laughs> your own stuff in the bin. Yeah. That's See, a this cool is what play. happens. This is why you hold back on the cheer. Yeah, so he's siphoning, he's clicking through. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Is he going to... Okay. You can't afford to res that card in the remote. I believe it's a Santa. That suggests Santa. So yeah. I reckon he thinks that Asher wouldn't click through that and was sort of proven wrong. Yeah, yeah. And I reckon that's why we're going to hold back the Adonis as well. Yep. Sure. Oh, well. Any case. Because that would have been... Yeah, the Adonis would have been really nice to have there. Yeah, exactly. Especially after he's still broken. Yeah, because that would be huge value. Huge. <laughs> Um, Ash is going to keep his soft lock going. 
so much rich places. I don't know if that does. That's not even that scary right now. Nah, it does nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. Ah, uh, Luke can recover. He can rest. That employee strike is doing a really surprising amount of work, isn't it? Huge. Denied so much. Yeah, and he he just keeps going broke. Mm. I don't know if I would have raised that either. Um, yeah, it's expensive enough. I think he just wants stuff up. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's, but that's like, fair. maybe he's not expecting apocalypse because this makes apocalypse so much scarier. He's <laughs> <laughs> going to a good way to deal with the tutoring right? though. Yeah, like a black orchestra. Yeah, because you can't clip through it then. I think that's your only uh, option, really, isn't it? Black orchestra. Yeah. Because you can't screw it. No, you can't. Unless he's running Yogg. Could be. Could be running Yogg. <laughs> We've seen that a bit. I remember there was a Max Siphon deck back in the day, the Force of Nature. <laughs> yeah. So the influence is so rough, isn't it? Okay, we um, see. Uh, mystery card? Maybe I'll get it. That was a mystery card. It was an IPO. It was, Jackson <laughs> it was an IPO. Yeah. An IPO <laughs> causing <laughs> immense sadness <laughs> on the next part. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that employee strike's doing some serious work. Denied so many crates. Maybe you should keep track of that. Maybe how many we'll be able to post the, Yeah, how many times that um, employee strike's denied. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of those cards where you play and you don't see the value of it so much. But yeah, like you ask your opponent afterwards and you're like, man, that card really yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Against, um, oh, he's not from the Eli. Yeah. Like, cool. That's, that's a good play. Yeah, that's a good play. <laughs> Just... Killing the remark. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, and play strike, especially on like Polana or HB, those oh, yeah. economy IDs that you sort of rely on so much. Where it's just like a small incremental value every time. So yeah. Like, and like you don't really notice the value it gives you as much. Yeah, until it's not there, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, what is this R&D ice? I it's feel like, like it's a fair chart. Yeah, I reckon that's a good thing. I can't resident on five, it's a fair chart. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, well, like... Have you ever had Cerebral Static played against you much? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Discards a Pies Crit and a Plant of Salt. He says, I've got what I have named. He says, I've got a Siphon in hand. You know Not what I've got. <laughs> you know what's going to happen next turn. He's, he's saying to Luke right now, you got to do something about this. Oh man, what? Luke's head funny. I mean, that's better than nothing. Well, you got to play it now. If he's, he's, we, he does have an IPO in hand, right? True, we right. think. We think we has an IPO yeah, in hand. You gotta play now before you get siphoned. <laughs> well, 14 credits is better than zero credits. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's Matt's. That is so, um, oh, there we go. An IPO. So he is well and truly back in the money now. Did he shuffle in the two uh, Christian boots? Yes. Oh, he would have liked to keep one now. Keep one in the bin to it back. Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah, sure. Friends just adding another little layer there. I don't know if he ever drew the friends in Mike Jackson beforehand. Oh, icing. So I think it's double hedge and ice. Yeah, that's just solid. Yeah, cool. Oh, we'll anyway. Fair child three. What is that to break with oh, Z Eater? Oh, that is bad, actually, isn't it? It's bad for Luke, actually, isn't it? It puts him down to exactly five, which is really not fun. So, yeah, sure. Ash has spent all his money getting in, but he gets it all back. He gets it all back and Luke is broke. Sure, HQ is nice and safe, but. That is not mm. fun. <laughs> Extremely unideal. We we'll spend a lot of time clicking for credits this game. Mm -hmm. Not what you want to do, but it is exactly <laughs> what Wizard wants you to do. <laughs> Asher will eventually get his uh, TR down. Yeah. He mustn't have one in hand. I thought he did. Yeah, if he had one, you'd think he'd have played her at this point, right? Because he's just straight running around dead. It's not like he needs to rush, I think. Yeah. Oh, right, there's the orchestra. the orchestra. It's cheaper to break the Turing than the... Uh, Fairchild now. <laughs> and you can spoon the Fairchild by clicking through it too. Yeah, I reckon... Um, high value plan, you know? Well, if he does have an Apocalypse in here, which I'm not sure... It looks like he's got a Turntable and Mad Dash, the same old thing. A Deja Vu and a Mystery Guard. I think that might be Apocalypse, actually. Yeah, it's Apocalypse. <laughs> so... <laughs> Hopefully we get to see it play. That's always a fun kind of get to see it play. Yeah, that's pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he has the money to pull off an apocalypse right now. Um, uh, no. He would have to deal with the two, uh, Fairchild first. Yeah, because Fairchild with Eater is... Well, if he has a Siphon that gets full value out of him, not be able to... I think it's 11 to get into the... If he, um, yeah, you're right. 11, yeah. If he pays for everything, it's 11 and get 10 back. Yeah. Take two. Very hedge fund. Nice. So he's been holding three hedge funds for ages and just hasn't been able to play them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I reckon he wants to set up for a block, I think. 
he's just he's doing good. He's like oh, yeah, he's, he's keeping the um, money down pretty hard. Yeah. Puck isn't the game plan just yet. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, you know what? A puck might be actively bad because you lose your pep quip and yeah, exactly. like orchestra, and you don't really have a way to get him back. No. And I feel like it's a. Uh, Doing it in that same yeah, Same old siphon. Same old siphon. Yeah. Game plan is just siphon many <laughs> times. <laughs> and oh, he nets, I think, minus one. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if they did the math quite right. I'll figure it out in post. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Asher on 10 tags. Not too, ten not tags. too worried about it. Oh, man. And Luke's going hard on R&D here. Hopefully that's another two rounds. Hopefully that's something like that's hard to play. Or something you can actually res. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, you need to res some stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of threat. It's a deja vu siphon. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Oh man. I should just gone through. Season arc lockdown though, that's pretty good. Yep. Hopefully man, how many times has Luke been siphoned? Like, like, so like four or five? And Ash still has another one in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's four or five off one siphon, I'm pretty sure. This is like three or four siphons. Oh, man. nice! He's got MK Ultra in the bin. He does, yeah. But I, I guess he forgot about it. Oh, no, he's remembered. I think he's remembered? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he decides to bring out MK Ultra, yeah. Oh, it's five in total breaks, one yeah. for uh, Miller. Yeah, cool. So you're right. So it's poor again. Yeah. And take the And he actually has his full rig up too, which is interesting. Yeah. I don't see that very often. What out of uh, Ida? Ida was it? I guess then you just click the credits in the mobile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Luke is still so far behind. Oh, yeah, he's so far behind. Oh, he does have a side thing. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Maybe Luke just wants to bait that out and then, then get the siphon. I reckon he's got to be thinking about arc lockdown in that siphon though. He's got to be thinking There's only one in the video? Yeah. He didn't get one with his uh, uh, Chronos, did he? I don't think so. No. Well, there's... No, no, no. There wasn't a siphon at that point. It was like a... <laughs> a retrieval? Oh, there was an eater. Yeah, was I think that was the big one. The yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Main boy stroke just quietly sitting there being an auto bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining his day. Oh man. Day job. Yeah, day job. Good play. That's exactly what you're doing. Oh, that's. Day job? Not like. A lot of people. Not, not a lot of people's favourite kind of I think, but this style definitely works. I guess it does. Maybe that's why I can't play this game very well. Because I hate day job and like. Oh, he's frenzying. Hopefully getting back to the first group. You would hope so, wouldn't you? I think, I think it's damage is done at this point, to be honest. There's the Chris weird. Yeah. I think at this point, like, it's too little too late. Yeah, he's been suffering so many times. So many times. He just needs There's so much stuff in the game that, like, is so mm. I don't know. I don't know what the... Uh, Interesting. First thing group in Jackson. He's going to pop the Jackson for away. Yeah. He just needs some money real hard. <laughs> I can see what he's doing though because his plan is just because it's very hard to siphon. Yeah, definitely. It's very hard because it's eleven to get in, and you have to go to the So that's thirteen bucks. At the same time, it's four to get into R and D. He's already in two points and two Jacksons around. Like keyhole is real. Keyhole is real. You are correct. <laughs> keyhole is really real. So that could be a problem. Yeah. I think at the moment, like you can still keyhole. Over Eater and Black Orchestra. You don't need any more on this. Yeah. You just make that your plan. Yeah? yeah. I don't think that's terrible. That is not terrible. He sees two agendas, but the Mad Dash and the Scam too. You are correct. Yeah, it's exactly enough to do all those things in one game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Keyhole Bang and Mad Dash, you're right. That's really funny. That's really funny. Yeah, it's looking scary because he's. Yeah, yeah, Luke is behind and his, his deck's getting thin. Yeah. Well, not thin, thin, but thin enough that you really would like to have done more than scored one point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's at, definitely at the point right now where, like, you can't afford to um, draw cards because he's going to so full of the mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, totally. 
Yeah, because he's just sitting there and he can't play the cards in his hand. Yeah. The other great advantage of Siphon is, <laughs> is, yeah, you put him in a situation where they can't do anything with the cards. <laughs> like, IPO is a great card, unless you don't have eight credits. <laughs> oh, go for the Siphon. Oh, it's Siphon time. Is it going to rise it? This is an interesting place. There's horses and access, and we've seen that's cards nice. in HQ. Yeah, that's really cool. Not, actually. Yeah. So he's just clicked for the Yeah. Let's see. Okay. 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 All right. So, uh, crash in the uh, Christian grid. Uh, yep, crash in the grid. Uh, hopefully we see the artifact down now. Two um, sides in the bin. Ash has definitely seen. Oh yeah, because he clicked through. Yeah, you would have seen that. Yeah, I hope so. Cause I, yeah, because I've actually seen the eye pop down, but he doesn't have any clicks left. Yeah, he can't go back. Just can't really it. There we go. Absolutely. Like, two seconds out. That's good. Because you can sort of make a reasonable guess that that's all of them. Yeah. I mean, that's the trick. Sometimes these decks are three cycles, <laughs> and sometimes they're apocalypse, and that can be a pretty damn big gamble to be on the wrong side of. Oh, man. It is rough though. Rough to get it so late. Mm. Day jobbing. Alright. Asher. Just through clicking and day job. Just he's got the key on. Money up, so, uh, yeah, he's got key on hand. So I think that's his game plan now. Yeah. Man, uh, the credit titles have been really weird this game, haven't they? They've just slowed <laughs> back and forth. Mostly in one direction. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Mostly from Luke yeah, to Asher. Yeah. Oh, there's the IPO. Finally got it. Hopefully that's a Jackson in the remote. Mm, Jay Jackson, yeah. So they're actually going to check the first. Yeah. Which is fair, because Jackson, like, directly goes against his game. Yeah. Pretty great to throw. It's that cool. Sansan. Oh, trash it now. Oh, Ash is Ash. Trash is fiercely. Oh, gosh, are the last game of the round now? It's not bad. No. I'm just clicking back up for it. I think that's a play. We want to close it out with Gale. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And all he's doing is like, <laughs> his main game plan now is to deny Luke. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. I think that's fair. Um, what campaigns have we seen? Just the Adonis? I think? Just one, yeah. So Luke can jam things in the remote from now until the end of time. But <laughs> it eventually, they're going to have to be something. It only costs three credits to check, though. Yeah. Like, it's not that hard to get in. And you have the whiz bucks or whatever's at the end. Yeah. Jamming is amazing at the moment. He's just gets another page card, maybe. Yeah. He's so cool. Yeah. Luke is on such a back foot at the moment. Yeah, just taking three so much to the story of this game. <laughs> Which is what Asher wants. This is Asher's diabolical plan. It's because he's doing the same thing. Clicking for four, exactly. Who wants to go for a big game smash and play? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, do you reckon Luke's just gonna like try for a beta test? Oh, I hope so. Double architect, 60 and three. Oh no, he's just gonna get that. Yep. What do you think he down? Um, I guess he doesn't. He just wanted the res, I guess. Yeah, too much to get in. Yeah, can't six. Res can't res can't score off it now with six credits. Yeah. <laughs> and if he scores, it's not even like the worst. <laughs> oh, it's an Adonis. Nice. I only got one to click through. Alright. So he's stuck in Adonis. That's good. It's really good. Do you reckon this could turn his keyhole turn for Ash then? Depends what Luke does. Yeah, if you see a face <laughs> down, that's. You gotta check any face down, basically. Yeah, because Jackson's scary. This is, yeah, what happens a lot with this deck. You just become so paranoid with face downs. Because you're at this point where you can, like, alright, I can mad dash and win, but. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta make sure it's not terrible. If Luke doesn't fall face down, doesn't fall ice, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Especially with Luke and five credits, that archive ice isn't gonna be too bad. So it just takes three credits. Takes three, so yeah, you reckon it's time? I think it's time. He's got 15, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough what he needs. Yep, there, yep, there it is, Keyhole. And exactly like I said, over the top of Eater and... Over once he doesn't need. Yeah. That's true, actually. Yeah. Like four in total to get in. Alright, that's it. Does he get an agenda? Yes, he gets a friend. Okay. He's going to go in again. HQ is a lot harder now to get in now. So Very it's kind hard. of like... Well, Sark is out the game, I guess he has no reason to get in, into HQ. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's... Yeah. About to way too expensive for a single access. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. I see. Uh, there's a beta test there. There is, isn't there? 
Okay, so yeah, he, he might it. just mad dash now. Yeah, there we um, go. Yeah. Wants to get it before he jacks and pops up. Yeah. Third vanilla, yeah. <laughs> so he's got his ashes up to five points in a keyhole on the board. And what that means now, he doesn't have to break the um, swordsman anymore. He's going to run a five because he does a pair of the cards now. Yeah, <laughs> you are right. That is cool. I think the only reason was he was breaking it is because he didn't want to lose the night down. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Yep. Mm. 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 It's an architect. So he's just going to pay for it, pay for the vanilla. Yeah, let's just leave him, him with the money. Inject, yeah, you don't care about that. So this could be it. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. I think it's a CBS. You guess think he gets to live another day? Which is yeah, nice. he does. He but continues Ash is just going to click the credits. Yeah. This is just continue to do <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Unless <laughs> Luke can answer it. Just click up the credits. Heal. <laughs> yeah. Man, that deck is thin. That deck's almost too thin to win. Yeah. Oh, I think. Like, just from time. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on one point. He's got it so far to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very scary. Do you reckon Bio didn't have that Kronos right at the start was just like the problem because he went down to one credit? I don't think it was oh, too much of a problem. two vanillas though, yeah. that was pretty funny. He got back up like... Yeah. Oh, he's jamming it. Oh, that's probably Jackson, isn't it? Oh, could be. Ash has to jump that. He has to respect it. Yeah, so he's going to take Pro Run his mode, going down to zero. Yeah. It is a Jackson. Right. Yeah, and then he suppose he's going to be equipped with credits, right? We keep doing yeah, this. So we're seeing all three Jacksons gone now. Keyhole is exceptionally live. <laughs> it's as live as it's ever going to be. A Biotic go back? That's a really good play by the way. I think that's what he needs. He just needs his fast enough to get in Yeah, it's pretty scary though. Because he can actually make money now. He just needs to shut down his Keyhole part. <laughs> oh man. It's a very dangerous place to be in. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. This is like Luke has to play exceptionally tight right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when did this um, employee strike off? Oh, about turn three. And it hasn't gone. It <laughs> just hasn't gone anywhere. Yeah, wow. it's been up the entire game. It's denied. It's got to have denial at least twenty turns now. Oh yeah, easy. That is huge. Easy. I think it's been devastating. <laughs> It's amazing how good it is because he put in for like the flashy ones like Ag Infusion, yeah, <laughs> and RP, and it just is like generally like anyone who's played any other HBID knows how poor you are without yeah. the ETFID, yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> so that is just doing the work, yeah, totally, absolutely. Yeah, it's doing so much for him. Blue Sand is probably five agendas now, but I don't I know if you can afford to buy something in doing this. <laughs> A, a Chrissium and R&D would be fantastic. Really good. Hopefully you yeah. get that going soon. Oh man. I think he's got to think about whether he literally has enough guys to win. <laughs> you still got to play to your outs. Yeah, you got to play to your outs for sure. He has options. Not great options, but he has options. Um, yeah. I can Ash and use Remote with an agenda all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've seen an Ash, haven't we? And Sand Sand is a card that exists. Oh, oh, you got oh he just run through. Out. Just smashes through. He just snuck one out. Yeah, he finally gets through the... Uh, he did. Good job. Ash is just going to keep on out. Yeah. I think it may have been the apocalypse. I think it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. It's not going to run the table. Yeah, there you Sweet. go. Okay, cool. There you go. Seize the agenda. Run the That's Siphon Lock. That was a hard call, Siphon Lock. That was a very... Oh, that was his hand? Like, yeah. just two agendas? <laughs> wow. Yeah. There was a really yeah. rough spot. Yeah. Rough, rough, rough. Cool, well... Any other eyes, yeah. 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 All right, well, thanks for joining us. That was a brutal display of Siphon Lock out there. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> well played, Ash. Right? Yeah, definitely. Tough last week, I guess. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time. See you soon.